Welcome everyone, my name is Paul, I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa and I'd like to discuss a little bit about Revit with you this morning, specifically Revit 2023. Uh, a number of people are starting to use Revit 2023. Most will only start using that on new projects in 2020 uh, next year, but for those of you that are investigating 23 Here's a very nice new tool that we can use. You'll find it on the Quick Access Toolbar and it is built into Revit, so it's not a third party app that you have to install and it's called PDF Export. It's essentially the same as what we used to do with third party printers like Qt PDF or PDF writer that's essentially does the same thing. It's built into Revit now though, so we don't have to install those third party apps. We have the ability to create sheet sets like we had before with other publishing or printing within Revit. Again, we can choose to display either 2, 3D or sheets and within a set you can choose to hide unchecked views or sheets so let's suppose you wanted to create your your own set then we just unhide everything like that and you could check none and then you can use the filter of course to say that you only want to see say sheets maybe you don't want to print your splash page and you want to go all the way up to your first drawing now in this case it's quite easy because the sheet numbers are aligned. So let's see what we can do then. Once we've selected them, you can also preview. create new can save the current set and then as soon as we have a set we have this ability down here to edit the print order and this gives us three different methods. The first is manual order where we can choose where we want to place sheets. I can see my splash page is still there. I don't want the splash page included. Let me just take the splash page off save the current set again and go back to the print order. So manual allows you to move sheets around. Maybe you need to move sheets around. You can see 2 is not 21. So sheet number, where it's going to look towards the sheet number to do that ascendingly, it's going to destroy the manual sort order. So that reorders our views. Just jumble them up a bit and then the browser organization which is also nice because now you can sort them according to some other logical sequence based on usually the sheet number and there you can see they are nicely sorted so that's with regards to choosing what you want to print if you click on an item it will show you a preview Unfortunately, you can't drag the preview larger, but you can zoom in a bit. And then, after that's done, you can say select. So now we've got print set 2. and we can have a look at the setup I've already done the setup but if you click in here you can say you can save as 
right? So it will take everything that's on this page and it will save it as an export setup, right? So that's how you would export the PDF. <coughs> the file name, you can choose what you want to call that. Drawings, architectural, I'm going to give it a zero, 00 designation and just say the print set. Where do I want to save that? I want to save that within just temporarily on my desktop under print. Do I want to combine them into one file? Yes, you can print them individually. And then there's an interesting one. You are allowed to use the sheet size to print on. So this exporter does not care that you've got, say, A0 and A4s in one sheet set. It will print them all. How do you want to place the paper? Center, yes. Do you want to fit to page? No. Print 1 is to 100. Then the raster quality, vector processing, and pretty much the same as with the normal printer. And that's it. We can export. There we can now see that we've got various pages and they've been printed correctly. So this is a big improvement and I hope you enjoy that as well. When you get to Revit 2023 it's something to look forward to. And from me, enjoy the rest of your day and your week and enjoy Revit. Until next time.